All right, people, welcome back to more Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a volcanic monster that someone created. Uh, this is Volcanic Napalm. The card art looks a little bit too real. Like, maybe, I mean, real from Yu-Gi-Oh! Stand, you know, standards, but also real from the volcanic standard. Like, the volcanics don't look this real. Like, this card looks really realistic. So, yeah. So maybe, like, tone it down, flesh out its color. It's a little dark, too. Like... I remember volcanics are like more a uh, lighter shade of art, but I mean, I mean, it fits. Some people don't even have any card art, so they just you know just do written. So I mean, you got a card, so that's fine. So the person created says, so the idea here is to provide assistance in areas where the deck is weak, primarily searching the volcanics themselves and filling up the field. Okay, because of course volcanics are a little slow. Like they got a little bit popular with that trap card. Uh, you know, definitely a deck that could probably utilize card demise, but uh, we haven't seen too much of volcanics lately. They just kind of fell off. They never got hit or anything. They they were they were a tier two deck, but they just fell off. And I definitely say what's their weakness? Well, they really don't have too much of a searcher. They really don't. Like, of course, uh, rocket searches your scanner shot, but I mean, what searches the rocket? You know, what searches your volcanic monsters? What gets your you know your plays rolling? If you don't really have a rocket, you're really not doing much if you don't have your uh, scanner shots, huh? Fill up the field, nah, nah. Volcanics are slow. They're like they're like they're like neck and neck with uh, Yusenju's. Kind of like they're like their tier two rival, just volcanics and Yusenju. So while Yusenju's, I mean, I guess they're still kind of here. You know, they got that card in their minds. They got their, uh, you know, the rippling mirror horse. I don't know. I don't know. But volcanics, they just kind of fell off. So maybe this fake card could give them a little bit more strength. <laughs> So this is Volcanic Napalm. He's a level 2 fire pyro effect monster. 300 attack, 200 defense. So stats are fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, the effect reads, if this card is sent from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Okay, so uh, I guess do scatter shot. Where you pitch it to draw an additional card or uh, banish it to send a uh, Volcanic. Then... Oh, no, it's not scatter shot. I forgot what... No, am I wrong? I forgot the name of the trap card. It's been a while since I played Volcanics with the trap card, the, the the good trap card. You can banish it to send this card from deck to graveyard. But what do you get? Uh, you can add one volcanic card from your deck to your hand, except for a volcanic napalm. Interesting. That's a pretty good effect. That is a pretty good effect. Like that in itself, right there, would be an incentive to run three of this, just because whether you pitch for your drawing effect or you pitch for your banishing effect, that's pretty good because you can play that, pitch this, draw a card, and then this gets to search. It's kind of like your own uh, brow, kind of like or no. Snow, snow, yeah, with uh, dark worlds in their field spell, so that's that's pretty good. It's pretty good, uh, and it's a, it's cool. That it says volcanic card, so it doesn't even have to be a monster, which is you know would be nice if they can go ahead and search for rocket, and then rocket can search. But no, this is a volcanic card. Uh, then the second effect uh, during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. Okay, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one volcanic monster in your graveyard, except for napalm, special summon it. But it cannot attack this turn. You can only use one Volcanic Napalm effect once per turn, only once that turn. So, it's kind of like a little monster born. You're not really slow in the field, but it's nice to get your resources back. Like, Volcanic can easily run out of monster trail easily, and while you can, you'll probably throw in, like, uh, you know, Phoenix Chains and uh, uh, Magic Planter, because you have some uh, face-up continuous traps, you can maybe throw some call hunts as a way to survive your monsters as beaters, you know. Plus their back row to back you up and just beat your opponent down, just out resource them. Uh, this card's not bad. It's just your it has to be played during either your main phase or your opponent's battle phase. So that's fine. But at least it's during either player's turn, so you can banish it to protect yourself. Or it just sucks that you can't just you know banish the summon a, you know like rocket nineteen beater and then go for a game because of course the monster is summoning cannot attack this turn. I guess it's a balancing factor, but overall not bad, not bad. So. Uh, Person gave credit. I just oh artwork credit to the artwork. So that's fine. I decided to ward the second effect away in order to allow a nice combo with volcanic doomfire, which you know people don't mm, usually play. I suppose summoning during your opponent's battle phase, forcing the monsters to attack in it with its effect. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So we can talk. But I guess most of you would rather use it <laughs> only to exceed summon. Yeah, I mean that's helpful, but really I just use it as a beater. Just summon back my my rocket from the graveyard and just keep poking you with 19 while one-upping you with back row. Volcanics, right? <laughs> Keeping control of the duel with my trap card. 
So, uh, the, the, the creative car was more looking at the volcanic doom fire, which we don't see a lot of. He's, he's a pretty strong guy. You can get him out. He puts in that work, but it's just, you know. So, uh, we got a people who uh, replied it. So, uh, though the first effect is brilliant, given that you can activate multiple Blaze Accelerator Reload. That's what it's called. I think it's Scattershot. Like, that's a monster. No, it's Blaze Accelerator Reload. Yeah. Uh, reloads in, in the same turn, given that you aren't trying to pull its activated effect more than once. Uh, the second effect is more than lackluster. Really? I mean, it kind of sucks that you can't attack, but you just you get to banish it to literally get a monster reborn for your volcanic monsters. And while you can't attack the turn and summon, you still get the effect, so... I can't remember if Rocky says when he's normal summon or just summon, period. And I'm not going to look it up. <laughs> uh, well, that first effect is amazing in that if you already got Blaze of Color in the beer, but you can banish this to send this card then add a scatter shot or a counter to your hand immediately, activating a second uh, BAR, oh, Blaze Accelerator Reload on the field immediately. Uh, you're setting up your graveyard in a single combo, yeah, or nuking burning your opponent in a single move. The second effect works was giving nobody in the right mind runs Doomfire in any meta volcanic battle. Meta. It, but overall, not bad. I mean, you act like you can't summon Rocket, I mean, why you can't attack this turn. I mean, even if you can summon him to protect yourself and attack directly, I mean, he's a 19 beater. 19 beater for level 4 is nothing to scoff at. Or, you know, you gotta wait turn. I mean, it kind of sucks that you gotta do it during your opponent's battle phase. Like, if it was like, once per turn during either player's turn, just whenever, you could just be like, alright, during your end phase, banish this, summon Rocket, and then during my turn, I'll attack with it. But it has to be specifically during your opponent's battle phase. That's also another. A uh, limiting factor, but also a pretty good, you know, card making factor. A similar effect uh, said that effect should be akin to Rocket's effect, in which it searches BAR uh, or more potentially sends one directly from the deck to the graveyard. So this guy is saying that instead of the whole revive effect, that you banish this card to either search for a another card, but you already search. So why do you need another search? Like, I guess search for a Billy Killer, but you already search for you know. Volcanic cards, but you can't search for Blaze Accelerator, so that's the thing. So you use this, because this is Volcanic cards, but Blaze Accelerator Reload doesn't say Volcanic cards, so you use this to search for Rocket, and Rocket will search for the Blaze Accelerator. I think that's a fine combo. Like, I don't think you need to go to that. Or uh, you send it from directly from the deck to the graveyard, so you banish this card to send Blaze Accelerator Reload from the deck to the graveyard. Nah, I don't like that either. I, I kind of like the Monster Reborn, I think, really. Uh, this card would legitimately be a brilliant card if it not only could search for Organics from the deck, but could foolish. BARs directly from the deck as well. Uh, it'd be like the new alien support, borderline perfect for the playstyle of deck, and a single-handed at three for the deck if you aren't stupid. Uh, but it doesn't do that, sadly, which is made remember, so perhaps you'd be given a, a opt effect. OPT? I don't know what OPT is. I don't know. In fact, overall, if you stop between ascent and bench the same turn for balancing reason and sale. Yeah, I mean, generally cards like that, you know, you can't banish it during the same turn that I sense it, yeah, which is understandable, it's understandable. Uh, then the, the creator of the card replied, okay, but to be honest, I wanted to do something for Doomfire, which is fine, since it's one of my favorite cards on the archetype, even if it doesn't see a lot of use. I think I saw it maybe like a couple of times when Volcanics were in their prime after Reload came out, but overall, not really. Besides, you can also revive Rocket for Rank 4 plays, yes. Uh, would you give me an idea for a card that only n dumps Blaze Accelerator and Volcanic Queen Deck to Grab, but recovers them from the from the banish cell? Okay, so maybe this person's gonna create another Volcanic card and maybe we'll see it <laughs> in a uh, future episode of Fake Card Friday, but I don't know, I think this card's cool. I think it's fun. Like, they're literally giving like these older archetypes cards and they're just like, here, you know, psychics, you get a card, you get a card, you get a card. I wouldn't be hating if Volcanics got this card, this card specifically, you know? The, I mean, the guy saying, the guy critiquing said you wouldn't be a 3 of I think it would, because you can just go ahead and pitch this to get a search, you know? Like, that's pretty good. It's just, when this card is set from the hand or field to get it doesn't even say, uh, by a Volcanic card or anything. And it says, if, you can throw in three Twin Twisters, Twin Twister pitch this, sent from the hand, you know, uh, to the graveyard, and then, of course, you can run Foolish, which I think you run Foolish before. But you're in foolish, and you can send this card from the deck to be a regular search. Like, overall, it's great. You can run Mathematician. You, uh, I believe there's like a Fire Armageddon Knight. You, you have the plays. You just send this card from the hand or deck to the graveyard, and you get a Volcanic Search, search that Rocket, Rocket Search, your Blade Accelerator. Like, you're good. 
And overall, it just helps to speed up the consistency, and then you just banish this to get him uh, revival because why not? You know, it's not any resources. Resources aren't from your graveyard to banish, and then you get a monster from your graveyard to field. That's a plus one. So, I, I think it's a great card. I think it's I think it's a really made uh, well made card, awesome card, and uh, it was an interesting card to uh, look at for Fake Card Friday. So. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Volcanic Napalm in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the Fake Card Friday. I will be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. We have yet another uh, card sent to me uh, that has to do with T-Bell again, so, which is fine. I mean, that's generally the cards that I get for Fake Card Friday. It's just like, hey, would this make you bell stronger, uh, you won't ask me? It's like, I don't know. Let me see, you know? Uh, but we'll go ahead and see if that card will uh, potentially make you bell stronger for this uh, next Friday, Fake Card Friday. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And yeah, see you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching.